All right, forget politics. I've always liked Drew Barrymore. Born into Hollywood royalty, she oozed star power from a very young age. Do you remember how you got the role in E.T.? Well, they interviewed me for Poltergeist first, and she said she's not really like the girl who's in the part, in the script. So, so Kathy Kennedy, the producer of E.T., said, well, maybe she's right for E.T. Drew Barrymore, E.T.! appreciate it very much. At the age of seven, when most of us were playing hide-and-go-seek, she knew the power of film and how to use the camera for maximum effect. Incredibly talented. But, by the way, she still does know how to use the camera. Like when she interviewed trans activist and influencer Dylan Mulvaney yesterday. It's very personal for me in a world where we're all trying to figure out who we're supposed to be. The risk. Yes. The Bravery. To oh my gosh, be. I had no idea how vulnerable I was even willing to get. I think coming out can be so um, intense, and you know, I kind of wanted to add some some humor. It's my lifeline. Now, I I do think that there was so much that came up this year that I had no idea that I was going to have to figure out in womanhood and and vulnerable things that I didn't even know were there. Well, Mulvaney is a TikTok star whose series 365 Days of Girlhood became a smash hit. Mulvaney, of course, is not a girl, but a transgender who dresses like Jackie O, answering the haters with a syrupy style and a love yourself message, which drove Drew to her knees. Where do you find the strength to keep being the joy? Well, I think having my chosen family and the people that I love to take care of me. I look at someone like you and I can't imagine anybody disliking you. Oh, please. Do you know, do you want to know, ironically, who uh, dislikes me the most sometimes? Who? Myself. Oh, me too. Oh. And, but... That wasn't planned out or anything. Now let's pause for a moment. What does it mean to young women, the scene you just saw play out, that one of the most well-connected and successful women in Hollywood gets on her knees to pay homage to a biological man who makes money advising women on how to be women, how to cope as women? How is this female empowerment? Oh, and note the devious message from Mulvaney about her chosen family. The implicit message here, your actual family probably won't celebrate your gender transition, so to heck with them. Now, how insulting ultimately to women whose real world concerns are much more pragmatic, like paying the mortgage, making sure their kids are safe, that they're learning. And as far as uniquely female challenges from menopause to childbirth to breastfeeding, Mulvaney isn't the place to look for answers here. Now, Democrats like to claim that they have a monopoly on protecting women and girls. Human rights are women's rights, and women's rights are human rights once and for all. This is part of that girl power network. This is how we rise up together. I take some, for lack of a better term, badass glee in just saying, women, you know how to get it done. I want women to see that you do not get pushed around. But that is precisely what the rabid forces relentlessly sell the trans culture are doing. I was forced to compete against two biological males all throughout high school. I raced against these athletes over a dozen times and every single time I lost. This is just not okay and it's not fair. And, you know, we're dealing with something that's completely out of our control when we're racing, you know, biological males. Um. The fact that that's still happening, that women are still losing to biological males in their own sport, shows why we need more female athletes to speak up about this. Okay, well, if you're a female athlete and you have the temerity, like those women did, to complain about having a biological man compete against you, you may just be canceled. This is what happened to a girls' school basketball team in Vermont. Last month, the Christian school forfeited a playoff game because the opposing team had a biological male on the roster. Well, today we learn that the team 
for just defaulting on that one game is now banned from playing in future tournaments. Wow. Drew Barrymore types would probably call them all bigots when they're really just acting in accordance with their faith and, yes, their truth. Let me ask you about the negativity. How have you dealt with it? And, and what's an approach you take? What's your self-talk? What do you filter? Is this where feminism in 2023 has arrived? For women to be socially accepted today, they need to prostrate themselves to men who identify as women? But this, of course, isn't the first time the left has signaled subservience to left-wing ideology. No justice! No peace! Those who wish to, we will now kneel for our moment of silence. It was bad enough when the kneeling was to Black Lives Matter, a corrupt neo-Marxist organization. But now women are supposed to be willing to give up all the gains they've made in business, in sports, and cheer for biological men taking their spots? And the message isn't just that you have to be okay with biological boys and men taking your opportunities. You must be willing to share bathrooms and locker rooms with them as well. Mr. President, this is my 221st day of publicly transitioning. God love you. Do you think states should have a right to ban gender-affirming health care? I don't think any state or anybody should have the right to do that. As a moral question and as a legal question, you should have every single solitary right, including, including use of the, your gender identity bathrooms in public. Yeah, that's the leader of the free world. And it gets worse. What about those who stepped up to respond to the growing outrage? What's going on in Florida is, as my mother would say, close to sinful. I mean, it's just terrible what they're doing. I mean, what what, what are they thinking about here? Now, can you imagine how this looks on the international scene? America is being battered by inflation, banking stresses that he caused. It's bogged down in a proxy war in Ukraine that he started. I mean, in response, obviously. And this is what Biden chooses to focus on? I was a senior in high school, and my dad was dropping me off. I remember about to get out of the car, and I looked to my right, and two well-dressed men in suits kissed each other. And I'll never forget, I turned and looked to my dad. He said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other. It's simple. No, I'm not joking. Yeah, Wilmington, Delaware, circa 1961, that story happened. Just like he was a civil rights activist who was repeatedly arrested or an award-winning student who earned three degrees. Or he's at home among Puerto Ricans and the Puerto Rican culture. All of that was made up, too. And by the way, for decades after this epiphany, Biden opposed gay marriage, remember, saying it should be between a man and a woman. Now, this anti-woman woke obsession hasn't just compelled Biden to make stuff up. It's compelled medical schools to do the same. Indiana University School of Medicine is now forcing all students to read lessons that insist that cervical cancer screening is not just for women, but biological men as well. Well, it's that way in order to avoid offending certain patients. Now, you notice they are never worried about offending women who think this is both anti-science and anti-women. They're not worried about that at all. So now, 60 years after the advent of the modern women's rights movement, the left has effectively made women irrelevant. A spot that a young woman could get in college admissions, positions in corporate America, in the military, in sports, and government, can all now be taken by men. And women, you need to affirmatively celebrate this, complain, And again, be ostracized. Well, I have a message to all women watching out there. You who reject the promoters of this new trans patriarchy, never forget. You are the courageous courageous ones. You are uniquely created by God with biological gifts that a man will never and can never have. 
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.